Hello everybody, uh, Matt Hatton here from Transform Insights. I'm here with Leonard Lee from Next Curve. Uh, we're both going to be out at Mobile World Congress Las Vegas, 26th to 28th of September. We'd love to meet up with you there. We can talk a little bit about some of the work that, that uh, Transform Insights and Next Curve are doing together, which is, is pretty exciting uh, stuff. And on this little video, we can share just a, a few thoughts about things that we're going to be uh, expecting to see and hear and talk to people about at Mobile World Congress Las Vegas. Leonard, do you want to uh, talk through about what we're doing together? And then maybe I can share a few thoughts about things that uh, I'm going to be talking to people about, and then we can sort of riff on that sort of stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. So the big news for us is that we have a partnership to work together in bringing Next Curve's thought leadership and strategy consulting together with Transform Insights, industry leading market intelligence and advisory services on the topic of IoT as well as AI and a lot of other things that we're going to be collaborating on. But we're really excited to share what we're doing in this partnership at MWC las vegas coming up very shortly so we'd love to meet you and if you're interested in finding out more we'd love to sit down with you and uh, go over some of the details and some of the exciting things that we're going to be doing together in this partnership but uh you know what hey matt what are you going to be excited about what are you going to be looking for at uh, mwc las vegas this year without wanting to predict it exactly because a lot of the the joy of going to these things is you sort of turn up thinking yeah i know what's going on in the space and then a few things crop up that you go oh, I, can't, I wasn't expecting to be talking about that and and maybe that's a a new thing but certainly there'll be a lot of talk about iot there's always a lot of talk about iot particularly i'm going to be giving my iot state of the union not not my idea as a title it's rather highfalutin for me but um somebody's given me the task of giving a iot state of the union at the 5g iot summit so i'll be talking 5g and iot particularly around some of the uh low power wide area technologies ltem mbiot they do count as as yeah. 5g incidentally so uh, a, a lot more focus on that Quite a bit about mobile private networks, I expect, as, as one of the big areas where 5G has, has, has taken off. And then a lot of other things are just around uh, telco strategies related to IoT. There's some really interesting things happening in connectivity yeah. management platforms. There was uh, interesting stuff around operators working together. Verizon made a, a, an interesting announcement about its uh, global IoT orchestration uh, platform. I'd be interested to talk to them about, about that. Um, and a few kind of macro themes about how connectivity providers might be doing much more in devices. That's looking pretty interesting for me at, at the moment because devices are often the first thing that, that comes up when somebody's thinking about developing an IoT solution. Uh, satellite as well non-terrestrial okay. networks and uh, it's a hot topic at the moment so a whole bunch of things how about you well it sounds like you've pretty much covered everything um, yeah well <laughs> there's a lot of overlap there definitely private networks and uh i'll be um on a panel actually on tuesday folks should check it out i'm on the calendar and it's going to be about launching a successful private 5g network and uh -huh. uh, yeah it should be quite exciting and i'm gonna also be taking a temperature check of open ran you know i mean open ran was yeah. a big thing going in actually coming into this year and um you know things have turned out a little bit different than i think a lot of folks have hoped so what is the state of open ran um and then mm -hmm. also uh, taking a temperature check on uh the types of investment priorities that operators are making in the united states or in the americas mm -hmm. Uh, but, mm -hmm. uh, you know, quite honestly, a lot of intersect with the points of interest that you have. And then also just getting an idea of, well, where are we with this AI stuff? Um, mm -hmm. Trying to get some of the ground truths in terms of what uh, operators and vendors are doing with the um, technology in its new emerging state. Uh, and mm -hmm. um, what kind of value they think they're going to be able to extract out of this uh, generative AI craze that's taken over the universe so uh those are yeah things i'm gonna be <laughs> looking well, it's, it's 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 a it's a fascinating one because you know you can't avoid ai at, at the moment and yeah you know telco's just in that instance just another vertical and looking at the, the ways that it might use ai and ai is essentially a vertical 
uh, it's applied in vertical ways, right? There's sort yeah. of hor horizontal idea of, of, of AI is, is a bit of a, a nonsense, really. Everything is specific to a particular uh, use case. I mean, there's some things which well, have well, some commonalities, but, yeah. but it's generally a, a vertical thing. So yeah. oh, one other thing. Sorry, go, go ahead. And, and we'll find out. We'll find out. And th th those are the yeah, things yeah. that I'm interested in. So if there's anyone out there interested in talking about any of these topics that we've just rattled off, you know, of course. Can I throw one more in as well? Yeah, please. eSIM. E e e eSIM is a, a fascinating topic at the moment, particularly the new SGP32 standard that's just come out because uh, I was at Mobile World Congress in, in Barcelona and all the carriers were asking me, What's everybody else doing? What's everybody else planning to do with this new uh, version of the technology that's coming out? And so I talked to a whole load of carriers and they were all asking me exactly the same thing. What's everybody else doing? Yeah. And I'm not sure that much has changed in the uh, intervening, yeah. what would it be, eight months or, or so. So it'd be interesting to, you talked about doing temperature checks. I'd, I'd like to do a temperature check about what everybody's thinking about that technology because I've heard a few um, negative noises, shall we say, from some of the carriers, but the MVNOs love it. So it'll be really interesting to, to talk about. Uh, looks like you're trying to build the suspense there, Matt. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. Well, you know, we can't share everything on this, right? Yeah, We've got to yeah. save something back for the conversations in, in, the, uh, yeah, in the show. Absolutely. But the, the thing, the elephant in the room that I'm going to be looking into. Uh, and I'm sure that you will as well, is uh, 5G monetization, okay? Uh, and so anybody you wanna talk about that, happy to chat, but more importantly, if you're interested in talking to Next Curve and uh, Transforma Insights about your priorities, please reach out to us. Uh, you can contact me at leonard.lee at next-curve.com and Matt. Matt. That's M A W T dot Hatton, H A W T O N, at transformerinsights.com. And that's transformer with an A, transformerinsights.com. Yeah. And obviously, we're going to cover everything that's important. So we hope to see you in Las Vegas uh, for Mobile World Congress, Las Vegas 2023. See you there. See you, see you there.